It's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DRYS. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I let you this time frame, I think does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Yesterday was where, you know, the big explosive move happened. And then the big question going into today was, you know, is there going to be any sort of follow through? Is this thing just going to totally collapse? You know, what exactly is going to go on? And I would consider today uh, pretty bullish. Why, you know, how can it be bullish? The price pulled back today. Yeah, but given the context of the chart and, and then, you know, just this ticker symbol in general, if you've been following it uh, a long time, you know that this thing can be all over the place and it's been quite bearish. So sure, the price pulled back, but, you know, if you've been trading long enough, then I'm sure you've seen a stock that, you know, does make a great move like this. But then after the move, you know, relatively quick, the price goes all the way back down to where it started or sometimes even lower. But that didn't happen today. It was a methodical pullback and that's totally normal, especially given, again, the context of yesterday, such a big move. So setting up for next week very nicely. Yes, remember the markets are closed tomorrow on Friday. Uh, so keep an eye on that. Dollar uh, eighty still the important area of support. I'm not going to go into that any further. If you're curious, you can just go in the video archive and watch, uh, you know, the video from Wednesday on why I explain the importance of that. Newest area of support though, and what I would call the ideal level right there at a dollar ninety-five. I mean, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the best going forward? If the price can continue to hold above a dollar ninety-five, I say continue because you can actually see it already acted as support right there. And that would certainly make things uh, you know, look the best. But if the price doesn't, then I'm not saying everything's totally ruined or anything, because again, for the reasons that I uh, talked about in yesterday's video, you still have, you know, room up above a dollar eighty. As far as areas of resistance. Uh, quite straightforward. I talked about this in yesterday's video and it totally just uh, unfolded here. So the power of charts and that's all got to do with the purple line there, the 50 period, some moving average. You can see the price got up above it numerous times, but could never maintain above it. So the price you can see is basically getting shoved down by it. So obviously you don't want to see that continue to happen next week, but as it stands right now, definitely purple line, 50 period, some moving average key area of resistance. So all in all, nice latter part of the week here. We're, we'll see how this all unfolds next week. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.